Okay, guys, give us a fail. Give us a fail. I'm going to be honest with you. Welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I look forward to sharing content with you guys on how um, to produce house music. Okay, guys. Um, the reason why I decided to open this channel is because... Um, I myself was introduced to content on YouTube from different producers. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I started this journey of you know, producing um, last year during um, the, the lockdown, the first lockdown period of, I think it was March? Yeah, I think it was March. So yeah, I learned a lot from a lot of um, producers online and you know that also encouraged me this year to you know share what i know so yeah I've been, i was prior to me you know messing around with producing i played the keyboard yeah, i was a keyboard player guys for 10 years so in terms of melody that's the main reason why i am familiar with the concept of melody but obviously production is not only about melody there are other sections yeah so without wasting any time, mm -hmm. so I have this project lined up for you guys. Um, so I'm going to put my microphone down and apologies for that. Uh, I'm currently at my girlfriend's flat. I left my, my thingy. I left my microphone stand at home in my mini studio. Okay. So without wasting any time, so this is an Afrotech type of a beat. Um, I worked on it last week for this tutorial. Um, lately, I've been listening to a lot of um, music from from uh, Da Capo and Black Coffee, and you know I've I enjoyed the sound, so I tried to you know um, produce something along the lines of that sound. Obviously, it's not the same because you gotta be original, yes, guys. And this claimer, uh, some of the sample packs that I use, um, I got them online. Some I even got them on YouTube, on various channels. So yeah, over the coming few weeks, I'm gonna introduce you guys to some of the channels that I've been watching that have have, have helped me a lot in terms of, you know, being familiar with um, FL Studio. So okay, are you guys ready? One, two, three. Ashiona. Ke namba ke feze fela a re utlo go retsa
yo, 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 guys, yo, guys. So that's the song. So I decided to stop playing it because it was sleeping my feet. CPU is a real thing. You can ask any music producer if your laptop or computer is not strong. Yeah, CPU will chow you. Yeah, but it is a good CPU will chow you. Um, hopefully, in the next coming few months or or a year from now, I'll be having a proper, proper, proper Mac. I make Buffett. Okay. Without wasting time, let's go through the various elements of the song. So normally what I do, this is how I arrange my songs. Um, I start with um, the kick first. Then I, I, I put in the, the beat on the second track. So track two is the beat. And then track number three is the elements of the song. Then normally, um, if you look at this closely, uh, these are barking, uh, crash, cry. You know when the song plays and there's a rises. Yeah, they call them the right way. is rises. So this is the section where I put my rises. The section right here, right. Even these ones are rises. Obviously, this song, um, I still have to master it. It's not mastered yet, guys. So. If the sound was clipping or the bass was a bit high or, you know, it's not mastered yet, um, I just decided to share with you guys my rough draft of how I'll produce uh, Afrotech. So just share in the comment section if you think uh, I can release this track. Okay. So without wasting time, I think some of the elements here, um, I'll go through them in our next tutorial. When I finish the song, that's if I'm going to be using the song. If you guys want me to go through, for example, the beat, you can list that in the comment section. I don't mind uh, um, producing a complimentary video on how I went about my methodology or my method to produce this. So now let's look at the melody section of the song. Obviously, that is um, the strings. Uh, the plugin that I use for my strings is Hypersonic. Let me just play the strings for you. Yes. So those are my strings. I use Hypersonic. Uh, it's unfortunately not um, part of um, FO Studio. You're going to have to, to buy it, but it's actually, it's a cool, cool, cool um, plugin. And I would advise for you guys to have it. It has so many patches that you can use. All right. And then on the rhythm section, again, I have, um, let's see. Uh, GMS Leia. GMS. GMS Leia. Okay, guys. So luckily for you guys, this this uh, this plugin is available on on FL Studio. They call them stock plugins, which means they come with the with the software. So you can you can easily get this one. Let's go to another one. The tuba, 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 purity. If you guys are fans of Ama Piano, this is a cool plugin to have. I think you need to invest on this plugin. Um, Purity. Most of the songs that you listen to that are produced by Ama Piano producers, they use this plugin a lot. Okay. Then let's go to another one, the rhythm section. Let's see. Uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, speed boost. Nexus. So guys, you know with Afrotech, you need those electric sounds. Um, those electric sounds actually bring that tech, you know, section to your song. Because you know it's Afro, it's tech. So the Afro side, obviously, it's those African sounds infused with electric sounds. So Nexus is actually a cool plugin that you can get to get those sounds. Um, for example, listen to this. Uh, 
So most of you house heads know that uh, if you listen to songs um, produced by by uh, Black Coffee, Da Capo, this is the not really the same electric sounds that they use, but you know you, you catch my drift. You catch my drift. It, you catch my drift. So another cool sound, electric sound that Nexus has. Um, let's try this one. Nexus plucked. Let me just play it for you guys. Let's go to the piano roll. Alrighty. So now let's. Okay. Let me look at the other plugins that I used in the rhythm section. Okay. I think I've covered. Um, most of the because some of them are repetitive i don't have to go through them again so now i think i still have time so let me look at let's look at the drums um what i did with the drums so guys this is the section uh, of drums that i used obviously you can choose your own patterns right you don't have to follow my pattern that's what makes you unique Yeah, so guys, I'm not going to go into detail on um, the sounds that I use on the drums. Like I said, if you want me to go through each section of the drum and why I used it, comment section, my feet, comment section, ask me questions and I'll answer you. So essentially, this is the drum section. Uh, and like I told you guys, a cool way to get uh, drum samples is you have to subscribe to other channels and look at what they publish a lot of producers especially in south africa the ones that um use fl studio as you know a platform or oh man youtube rather as a platform to publish videos related to production they sometimes have complimentary sample packs that they offer subscribers for free so even if you look at mine there's um KC4 uh, and there's also DJ Odyssey um, these are sample packs some of the sample packs that I got from um, some of the channels that I watch on YouTube yeah and another thing guys please do not plagiarize please do not plagiarize hence I'm a strong supporter of you know telling people where you got certain things so that you know you give other people the spotlight that they deserve so I'll also be launching my sample pack, guys. So this was just an introductory tutorial. I know that I didn't explain a lot, but I just wanted to, you know, introduce myself as a new, you know, uh, producer on uh, YouTube that's going to be sharing lessons. Um, so the next coming weeks, guys, um, just expect videos of production videos that are in line with house music i am currently not uh, what's the word <laughs> i am not uh, locked locked in a particular genre within the realm of house i'm actually an all-rounded producer because essentially i produce what i listen to so in the next coming few weeks if you see me posting tutorial on my piano right don't be surprised and remember we have the comment section in the comment section you can tell me which videos you want me to produce and thank you guys yeah thank you guys and i hope um we continue on this wonderful journey and remember guys you can also open your own channel you can also share with people what you know because let's share information guys it's important because you don't know who you are helping Kasegere. Ah, que fez efeito.